The number of measles cases in Texas has nearly doubled and continues to spread to surrounding counties. Anieli Ruiz has been following this and spoke with experts and local labs who are getting an increase of interest in measles immunity tests. Anieli. Well, that's right. The numbers are only increasing. Last week, there were cases in four counties, and this week, there are seven counties now involved. In a matter of days, the state of Texas went from 48 measles cases to 90 since late January. This is according to the Texas Department of State and Health Services. Take a look. These are now the seven counties with cases, and local doctors believe that number is just going to continue to rise. The incubation period of measles, so from the time you get infected with the virus to you show symptoms, is usually 12 to 14 days. The cases all seem to be in West Texas for now. Five of the cases are vaccinated. The rest are unvaccinated or their vaccination status is unknown. Measles is a respiratory illness that doctors warn is highly contagious and cause respiratory problems like bronchitis, pneumonia, and in some cases, swelling of the brain walk into a room previously occupied by someone who had measles just a couple of hours ago or an hour ago, um, you could become uh, infected. And so that's why the, the measles virus is one of the most highly transmissible viruses. And one local lab says they've seen more people wanting to know their level of immunity. Have been experiencing sort of some elevated interest in all things measles at our locations, particularly in Texas. Any lab test now says they test you right on the spot to check your immunity status. You walk in, get your results in about two days. You don't necessarily need a doctor's order. We're able to provide the doctor's orders. And then you have that information and you can go talk to your physician directly. Dr. Hota said he's also been getting questions from people wanting to know if the vaccine they received years ago is still effective. If the early, some of the early prototype vaccines for measles um, may not be um, as effective as the current ones. Um, so if you have any question about whether or not you um, have immunity to measles, I mean, typically uh, a dose, a single dose of vaccine is 93% protective. But ultimately, it's a conversation you should have with your doctor, and he recommends everyone takes this serious. Now, Houston had two confirmed measles cases this year linked to recent international travel, both unvaccinated adults living in the same household. Also, the state tells me they should have another update next Tuesday with the latest numbers of cases. Marcelino, back to you. Anayeli, thanks so much. And we've just posted a fact sheet on measles and what you need to know to keep your family safe. Just text measles to 713-526-1111 and we'll send that information right to your phone.